As of this morning, the General Staff of Ukraine has released significant figures indicating that the military situation in Ukraine remains very complex and is trending towards escalation. With 134 clashes occurring within just 24 hours, this number clearly reflects the tension at many fronts. Notably, the Pokrovsky area has become one of the hottest spots with high concentrations of forces from both sides, affirming the strategic importance of this region in the conflict. Russia continues to increase missile strikes and shelling, targeting both military and civilian objectives in Ukraine. Over the past day, Russia launched up to 136 air defense missiles at various areas in Ukraine. This astonishing figure reflects a dramatic increase in Russian airstrike activity. Although these are primarily air defense attacks aimed at countering Ukrainian aircraft, they also cause significant instability in the affected regions. Additionally, Russia has focused on launching 68 missiles into the Kursk region, which may be an effort to protect its important military infrastructure, currently facing continuous attacks from Ukrainian forces, the increase in attacks on Kursk indicates a clear Russian strategy to safeguard key areas near the border and control the logistics of its military. Overall, Russian forces have carried out over 4,000 attacks on Ukrainian residential and military positions within just one day. Among these, 154 attacks used multiple launch rocket systems, continuing to exert enormous pressure on Ukraine's defensive capabilities. In response to the escalating aggression from Russia, Ukraine has launched counterattacks by organizing precise and effective strikes. According to data from the General Staff, Ukrainian air, missile and artillery forces conducted nine attacks on concentrations of Russian troops. Notably, these attacks targeted not only enemy personnel, but also air defense systems, which play a crucial role in protecting Russia's strategic objectives. Moreover, Ukraine successfully struck two vital bridges, disrupting supply routes and complicating the reinforcement of Russian forces. This highlights the importance of cutting off supply lines, a critical factor in modern warfare. Ukraine's focus on attacking Russian infrastructure targets also reflects a long-term strategy to weaken the enemy's supply capabilities and defensive organization. The destroyed bridges can severely disrupt Russian movement, forcing the enemy to use alternative, more complicated and time-consuming routes. Data from the General Staff of Ukraine shows that both sides in the conflict are intensifying attacks on critical infrastructure, from bridges and industrial plants to areas concentrating manpower. This reflects a shift in modern warfare tactics, where material objectives play a more significant role, both strategically and psychologically. With Russia attacking residential areas and important infrastructure systems, Ukraine's attacks focus on cutting off the enemy's supply, particularly through bridges and transportation routes. Ukraine's targeted attacks demonstrate a significant improvement in the use of long-range weapons and intelligence capabilities, especially in identifying and destroying crucial strategic targets. In addition to military losses, these figures emphasize the devastation the war is causing to residential areas. While no significant casualties were reported over the past day, attacks on civilian infrastructure such as homes, hospitals, factories and cultural institutions have left thousands of Ukrainians in precarious situations. The shelling and missile attacks not only inflict heavy material losses, but also create significant psychological pressure on the people. Particularly, the destruction of healthcare facilities, education systems, and public works makes life increasingly difficult. The conflict in Ukraine is currently escalating with increasing violence levels. Both Russia and Ukraine are intensifying efforts to attack and defend in order to gain an advantage on the battlefield. The hottest location right now is the Kursk region, where battles are occurring with large numbers of troops, missiles, and attacks on areas that have a massive financial impact. However, with the number of clashes and continuous attacks from both sides, the military situation risks dragging on, 
and continuing to cause dire consequences for both sides, particularly for civilians and infrastructure.